Okay then, well this is the brand new MR36 from Inwin. It is a 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler and this is their most brand new one out. They've just launched this so let's take a quick look shall we? Yeah, like I say, it, it, this only just came today, which we'll be recording on the Friday um, afternoon. So this just came today. So let's take a look at this. Let's get this off first. Maybe I should have done this off camera, but oh well, right, that's gone. Ah. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, how does it... Oh, right, okay. So i got to undo this now, have I? Oh, lovely. Right. So, here we go. Right, it's a little bit backward, but oh well. Right, so here's all the mounting. Comes with thermal paste, it comes with back plate, so I'm assuming... Let's have a look, is it? What comes in the actual accessories? Yep, you, that's right. Oh, they got one of these extenders for the 4-pin PWM. And, oh, are we there? Awesome. Now, I did review their new Neptune AN120s and 140s. And they've got this nifty new kind of lock-in mechanism for the ARGB connector. Which, will I will say, is a lot better. So, we've got... That is for Intel LJ1700 by that. Then we've got these. I'm assuming these are probably for AMD. Um, what's this one for? Intel 2011 and 2066. So let's grab this out now. Come on. Right, let's grab it all out there. There we go. So we've got 2011, no, we've got 15 and we've got 2011 below. There's the other part of a bracket. We've got the screws to mount the fans to the radiator and then we've got the screws to mount them to your case. And then we've got up oh, AM4 brackets. That's what they're for. Now, I'm assuming that's for LGA 1700, and that is for, that is for 15X. So, these are for AM, these are for Intel, these two. And we put these aside, and then, of course, it comes with Inwin Thermal Paste. So, let's move these over here. And of course, it comes with the AN120s, and oh, they're already connected. No, they're not. There we go. Now, I've already reviewed these. These are very good ARGB fans, and that is the connector. It certainly saves cable management. All you do is you take one, you connect all three fans. What you do is you connect the other fan to that with the longer cable here, and then all you do is you what you'll have this on one last of the fans by here and all you do is connect an extension which up there which i showed you then you just connect that one to a hub or to your motherboard and then that to the cpu fan header which is very very good because their previous iterations when it comes to cable management actually weren't very good but they are definitely improving so let's take a look at this oh no Oh no, has anyone seen the problem by you? I think I'm seeing the problem. See that? That's where the pump is. Unfortunately, this is one of the major problems that uh, MSI had. Now, yeah, it's all right to have it in this position, but it's not the best, most ideal version. Ooh, the most ideal way of doing it. Oh my. And the co plate is very small, but. Ooh, oh, we dead that turn. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Does this come off? No. But that is a little screen logo up there. Sorry about that. But this looks quite nice. And it's got the interlocked. Oh, 
Oh, it's, oh, it's fantastic. It's got the interlocks. You can connect this to the one end of the fans. And then all you've got to do is use this end to do it. It saves on cable management. So let's get this installed to get to the testing done. Okay then, this is the noise test of the MR36 brand new all-in-one liquid cooler from Inwin. This is at 25% fan speed. This is at 50%. This is at Right then, so when it comes to the thermal benchmarks, I did my normal run of Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. So this is the 5900X out of the box settings with zero changes to the BIOS, no PBO enabled, not even XMP enabled. So Cinebench R23, the idles are 34 Celsius, the max was a 65. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34, max was 65 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were 35 Celsius, the max was a 64 Celsius. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 35 Celsius and the max was a 70 Celsius. And that was drawing 139 watts. Now, this is with PBO and XMP enabled and it was pulling 185 watts on a 5900X, so here we go. Cinebench R23, the idles are 34 Celsius, max was an 81. Blender Classroom, idles are 34 Celsius, and a max was a 79 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles were 35, max was a 78 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 35, and the max was a 70 Celsius. Okay then, so you've uh, heard the noise test, you've also seen the overall thermal, you've also seen the overall unboxing experience, what comes in the box, what kind of CPU it supports and so forth. Now my initial thoughts of this, it looks really nice, I do really like the pump housing because this can be turned, so it means any orientation you use it can be adjusted. Now I do like the AN120 fans because I've done a review of them. I found them very good compared to their previous ARGB fans. And the cable management with this was a lot, lot better. Because you can interlink each fan together with one cable, well actually two cables, one for PWM support and the other then for an ARGB. It'll just automatically connect with two cables at the end and done, it connects to an ARGB if you've got a controller or to your motherboard and it will run off that which i find compared to their previous iterations of their cables as well as the argb aspect of them i find much much easier for you guys to actually use now the overall look fantastic i love the rgb i would have liked the pump housing to actually be changeable where a little bit of it could be maybe where the in-win logo is this part could be taken off maybe put your own silk screen or something something that could have been maybe changed but that's me i would have liked that but that's just me performance is there 
the overall acoustics what i will say is these an 21 fan uh, an 20 120 fans are a lot silent compared to the rest of their other rgb fans the previous ones the lunar fans they were awfully loud a 100 these aren't bad they're actually good and i consider using them in my system believe it or not when i do my water cooling build i'm actually considering using all the fans that i've got for here in my new system so yeah if that goes to show that how good i find them just goes to show because i use be quite light wing fans and i love the light wing fans i use them in my main system so for me to consider changing the light wings for these just that does say a lot especially coming from me now the price it's in euros i believe it's around the 140 euro mark I, i'm not specifically um aware of the actual price i believe it's 140 between 140 and 150 euros i'll make sure to put the price in by here for you guys to know and yes it supports all the latest iterations of amd and intel and believe it or not it's pro it is definitely the best aio i've received this this year considering that i've received some off thermal right and i've received off vetro uh galad or galad and valkyrie this is definitely better than all of them in terms of the acoustics and the overall design it's much better than the rest and they get a big thumbs up from me and what i'd like to say is a big thank you to them for sending out and continually supporting me i do really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to the channel because i've got a lot more stuff coming for you guys and this is richard for wildtech i hope you guys have a fantastic week good bye